It's a rivalry that began in 1929 the Texas Longhorns and the Baylor Bears. Been a long, long, long relationship with them. Uh, I hope we send them out crying. The Longhorns made the trip to Waco to take on Baylor Saturday for maybe the last time in this storied battle. Texas is slated to join the SEC in 2025, but if we've learned anything from college athletics over the last decade, it's to not trust a contract. Now, obviously the money is the big thing for everybody and uh, they, they have seen what the money could be over there. And so then when I thought about it a little bit, not really that surprising. For a game like this one with a kickoff at 11 a.m., you can bet that fans were up and at it early. Former Baylor baseball player Max Garner played for the Bears from 2008 to 2012. He remembers those matchups against Texas well. I mean, it was the biggest or second biggest of the year, um, you know, and especially after the Big 12 went, went down the way it did and A&M left, like, it's the biggest week of the year. Garner has a unique way of describing the Longhorns. <laughs> Can I say they love the smell of their own farts? <laughs> yeah, that's why. Heading into Saturday's matchup, UT had 52 more wins than Baylor did in the series. How couldn't they? A slightly larger school with a massively larger budget is hard to compete with. But that record doesn't fog fans' expectations on Saturday. I'm really excited about them being here today. Their, their last appearance on the Jerusalem on the Brazos, and I hope that we send them out and out of this conference with just a, a butt kicking. I hope we just knock them out of the stadium. They, they leave here crying. If it is the last time that burnt orange enters McLean Stadium, at least in a Big 12 capacity, it's been a good ride. Bittersweet, but uh, it will be mostly sweet if we uh, really take them down today. Uh, I hope that we uh, not just beat them by a little, hope we beat them by a lot. Send them off the right way. At McLean Stadium, Matt Lively, 6 News.